Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Today I am looking at another way of diffusing light. This time I am trying out this uh, impact parabolic umbrella. So this is a giant umbrella. It's like seven foot or 200, uh, what is it? 213 centimeters wide. So it should provide a really wide uh, light source. And I also bought, sorry, not in frame and really noisy, uh, this uh, diffuser that you can put on the front of it. Um, so the idea is you can shine, you put the umbrella up, you shine light into it and the light comes back, but you can diffuse it before it comes back by putting this on the front of the umbrella. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this because this is such a big thing, but um, I might unbox it here and then we'll look at the way it's set up uh, from another angle. So I'll just put that there. It's really noisy, that foil. Uh, let's open this box. And in there, I think it comes with a bag. Oh, did I? Yeah, you saw the specs, I think. That's the specs. Let me get out of the way. In case they didn't show up before. And here we go. So it comes in a little carry bag. Anything else in there? No. Let me just put that box down. Okay, so we have. Hmm. No drawstring. Okay. It's um it's got a like a little holder for your shoulder or whatever. Um, let's see what it looks like in there. It comes in a little bit of plastic. Okay, yep. Put that down. So it's just a bit unorganized. It's really hard to unbox these big things. Little things you can just do in your hand, but big things you're sort of like, oh, where will I put the camera and how to plan it out? Okay, so it comes in this. I'm not sure if that's just packaging or if that's its accessory, but this clear case as well as that bag. And then we have a little flyer here. What have we got? Let me undo that. So it's got this little strap, um, like all umbrellas do. And what have we got here? Thanks for the purchase. Just a little card. I'll put that there as well. And let's see how it opens out. So yeah, it should just be might get up actually it's got um like a little protector there i think so that it doesn't open on its own let's see if i can get that off not really sure it's very tricky okay yeah it just a little bit of a rubber band and some not sure if that's part of it or just a protector i'm not sure anyway um once I've got it off, we can then, I think we just push. This is tricky. Whoa. Now I'm not even in frame. But I think we just push it out and it locks in. I might first, um, because I haven't got enough space here to open it. So I might just leave you here and cut up, cut out to another angle so that you can see me setting it up. So I'll be, the, I'll be back in a sec. I just realized I forgot to unpack this. So there's the sticker for that one. And I will just take this off because it's so noisy. Put that down there. And so it comes again in a little bag with some little eyelets here if you need to hang it. And two zippers. And some more noisy plastic. Let's get that off. Okay, so it's just a, oh, it's sort of like a, kind of like a bed sheet. It um, doesn't look like it's got Velcro. It looks like you just put it around, I don't know if you can see that, if the camera's zoomed in, but it's like a um, elastic sort of, uh, it's like a bed sheet, but it feels like a shower curtain sort of material. Um, and you can see it's got that groove, so I think it just catches on with this bit around the umbrella. So we'll, um, I'll leave you again and I'll change angles. Okay, so I've just got it set up on a C-stand and then I've got the umbrella feeding into this. Um, these Niwa lights have a, um, an umbrella port sort of in, inbuilt, so it's just gone straight into there. And then I've got this dome off, although be very careful with because that's sharp there. And it's just shining straight into it. So if I turn it on, we'll get a 
yeah so that's the way that one works and um, yeah it spreads the light spreads quite wide around the umbrella so it's pretty good just want to make a quick point about the actual light that uh, you use with this diffusion cloth because um, the lights actually got to go into there so I don't think uh, using a light with a fan a continuous light with a fan um, is appropriate with that because of um, you know risk of fire and melting and whatever so I don't think that light that I've got there is is the right thing I just tried it very quickly just to see the sort of quality that we're getting because I don't have any other light but um, yeah I'd be very cautious about what you use there because I think those are designed really for flash photography so the strobe would just go on and off and the light stays off whereas with video it's continuous so yeah just keep that in mind um, otherwise without the diffusion I think the light is fine but um, again I'm not an expert so maybe if some of you watching know a bit more about lights um, let us know what a good light would be to use with an umbrella like that I, I have got an on order another Niwa that is um i can't remember the model of 150 something ul maybe vl i can't remember anyway it is supposed to be without any fans and quiet so maybe that's the right light to put in there but um yeah i'll let you know once it arrives what it's like and whether it gets hot because yeah heat and air would be an issue with this um dome so yeah let me know in the comments what you think and if you can recommend something i know they make those square panels that are battery driven um, and don't get very hot so maybe that's the way to go but then you need sort of a strong light as well so it's a bit tricky um, anyway just yeah keep that light in mind all right so I've got it all set up and turned on now so there's no diffusion on it just the umbrella about an arm length away from me uh, and it's powered by the Niwa SL60W light without the dome or anything it's just shining straight into it and um, yeah what do you think uh, it looks pretty good to me on the monitor i mean i'm only using the little camera monitor so um it's hard to tell until i take it into post but let me know in the comments what do you think and i'll try and put the diffusion on now as well and just see um, how much softer that gets again at, at this stage the neo sl60 is at 40 percent power and i'm shooting on iso 200 f 1.4 1 50th of a second on the Sony a6600 with the Sigma 16mm 1.4. All right, I will put the diffusion on and do another shot. Okay, so this time this is with the diffusion on. So it's just shining uh, into the dome and bouncing back through that cloth that I installed. So what do you think? Maybe we'll do a comparison without and with the diffusion let me know in the comments what you think i think it's quite a good light uh light quite a good umbrella a light diffuser i guess um yeah and i look forward to using it in my future videos if you've got any comments questions um just leave them down below and subscribe and give a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from me i'll see you in the next one bye